these are beautiful like it's exactly what I was looking for Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Katie and I share content on DIY and thrift finds and home renovation and family life. And today's video is gonna be more of a home renovation video. I have not shared one of these in a while. So two years ago, we bought a huge fixer upper and we loved the bones of this house, but it just needed so much work. And I've shared bits and pieces of our renovation journey here on YouTube. So if you're interested in that, I will link the playlist below. It's cold outside and we are getting antsy. This spring we hope to do a lot of exterior projects, but in the meantime, there are a list of things that I want to get done in the house. Some of these things are very small, but I really think it's those little tiny details that make a house a home. So we're going to tackle a bunch of small projects today. And we also have a few bigger renovation projects that are going to be coming soon that I'm going to be sharing here on the channel. Let's start with our staircase down to the basement. I don't know if you guys remember what this looked like when we first moved in. It was definitely straight from the 60s. It had um, a very heavy stain on it. It had a shaggy orange carpet and it was just can we say a major eyesore the carpet was not in great condition it was kind of old and smelly and the stain color it just wasn't really what we were going for so this staircase DIY has been a work in progress for a while and I thought I would just kind of share where we've been and where we're at now So the plan is to start sanding this down with some coarse sandpaper, this is 60 grit, and then we'll move to like 120 or maybe 220, depending on how rough it is. This is just for safety. where I give a shout out to David for doing this stair project. I know on YouTube sometimes it's easy to watch these videos and think that projects go so smoothly and so quickly, but this was a true labor of love. And starting from getting the stair off of the railing, like they used these very old screws. It was hard to remove those. And then once we figured out a trick for that, getting the carpet off and getting all the nails out and then sanding. So in the evenings, we really try to tackle about two stairs at evening and just spread this project out. It was just fair very time consuming and honestly when we started it we had no idea if the stairs were even going to match our hardwood or what it would look like and we got so lucky it looks so good we've had people comment that it looks like it's the same wood and we're very very thankful for that initially we were thinking that we might have to buy all new wood and we didn't like that we wanted to try to salvage what was already here and it just worked out that we're going to be able to do that but this was a huge project obviously like it was worth it i don't think we want to tackle another staircase anytime soon Anyway, um, David got all the stairs done and then it was my turn to come in and do a very small project on the stairs by filling in all the holes. We found this wood filler at Home Depot and the color actually matches perfectly. We're still going to need to go in after we fill all the holes and put some kind of top coat on it just to seal them. But for now, I just wanted to focus on getting these holes filled and making the staircase look a little bit more complete.
else that has been bothering us is this side door. It's actually like an extra front door. It's a rather odd situation, but we haven't done anything to it. It's just in its original state and it looks old and dated and dinged up and we decided that we wanted to paint it. So I picked out the color Accessible Beige by Sherwin-Williams. Usually you would probably start out with the primer and then go on with the paint, but we just decided let's just paint it and we can give it multiple coats if needed. So we pulled out our paint brushes and we got to work. Obviously in order to take this door to the next level, we're gonna need to do something with this hardware. And throughout the house, we've replaced our hardware, but there's also been a few drawers where we took off the hardware and we just spray painted it like a matte black. We did that on our front door and it really gave it a fresh look. So when the weather gets a little bit warmer, that's gonna be our plan for this door. We're gonna paint everything black and unfortunately it's so cold out today, so I'm not able to do it. Be sure to subscribe to see these projects come to life because I will be sharing them in a later video. The next big project we want to tackle in our house is this hallway. Now, when we moved into this house, it needed a fresh coat of paint. We had the old shed carpet that needed to come out. So we did replace the carpet. And initially we replaced the carpet, we painted it white and we kind of left it. And then we installed these lights that were really inexpensive from um, Lowe's and it did kind of help brighten up the space, but we've never been in love with this space It's just a little bit boring and bland. We have some big plans for the space We actually want to add some picture frame molding all throughout it I can show you some inspiration pictures here to kind of get an idea of what it's gonna look like But I think we're gonna actually hire this out We have a good contractor friend who does good work and um, some of these projects We're just gonna hire out to him, but what we're gonna do is replace these lights. Let's talk hallway renovation I've been in the market for some new lights for the hallway and and I like the black ones that we have, but they honestly, they were just the cheaper lights at Lowe's and I wanted to mix it up. So I've been in the market for antiqued brass lights and I was searching and searching and I came across these lights from Nathan and James. I also have a pair of nightstands from Nathan and James that I really like and it seems like they offer affordable, good quality and modern pieces. I was able to get two of their Jace flush mount ceiling lights and they just came in. So let's go ahead and unbox them and see what we think. I'm very excited about these. Look how beautiful that is. When I was looking for light options, I wanted the antiqued brass look. And so often when you find affordable lighting, you can't find any that have that antique look that doesn't look a little bit cheap or fake. And these are beautiful. Like it's exactly what I was looking for. And I love that this is like a linen shade. I love the dome look of these. They are so pretty. Anyway, I'm gonna unbox the other one and then hopefully we can get to installing them. little update on the lights we ran into a small issue um, the lights are beautiful we love the way that it looks but one of the boxes has way too many cords we knew this was going to be an issue i think we're gonna have to call an electrician to rewire it because it's like what would you say babe it's like the hub of where all the cords are yeah, it's just like there's way too many cords in this little box and it's just super hard to mount a light up there. We struggled last time we mounted lights, but it had a different <laughs> mounting piece. So we were able to maneuver it, but this time we weren't able to do it. The light looks so good. We love it so much. I can't wait to get both of them up. The finish on it is just really beautiful. It brings some warmth to this space without being too stark. But the next plan of action is to do the wall molding. I think we're gonna paint these walls a little bit warmer of a white. Possibly do some wall sconces up here above these pictures. Yeah, I'm very excited about these lights. This is an old attic fan that we might end up taking out because it doesn't really work. But we need a new coat of paint in these walls. We might actually end up paneling these doors as well and painting them to give them an updated look. So let me know if you guys think we should do that. We've already updated the hardware on all of them, but love, love, love these lights. Thank you guys so much for coming along with us as we tackled some of these home renovation projects. Uh, we still have a lot to do, and I know I need to give you guys an updated house tour because it has been a while. So that is 
also have my list of videos to make. So if you want to see that, let me know in the comments below. If you're not subscribed, I would love for you to follow me here on YouTube and you can also follow along over on Instagram where I share more Instagram stories of our house projects. Once again, if you're in the market for some affordable, beautiful flush mount lights, be sure to check out Nathan James. I will link the Jace flush mounts in the description below. And with that being said, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.